Hi guys, thanks for watching my channel, Fast Quarter 21. So the main motto of this channel is to, to help the people who are in need of medical coding knowledge, whether you are a fresher or experienced people. My plan is to keep all interview topics at one place. So previously I have posted ED interview questions, SCC interview questions, anatomy and physiology interview questions. Tomorrow I am going to publish inpatient interview questions. In the future I am going to publish anesthesia interview questions, radiology interview questions and surgery interview questions. So these all the topics are very essential for pressures as well as experienced people who are planning to change the company. So please subscribe to my channel and gain more information about the medical coding field and also encourage your friends to subscribe to my channel as you are going to have a all interview questions at play, one place and also if you have any topic in your mind please let me know by keeping in the comment section so that I can make separate session for those concerned topics. Please watch the video until the end to gain medical coding knowledge. So when you go to the interview, the most important question which is for pressures as well as experienced people is what is the difference between outpatient coding and inpatient coding? So today, in, everyone knows one or two topics. So today, we are going to learn more in depth. Yeah, as you know, here physician outpatient, facility inpatient. So for both of in outpatient and inpatient, we can use ICD-10-CM for diagnosis. And in outpatient, we can't use probable, suspected or rule out conditions. We can't code these conditions in outpatient coding. Basically, in outpatient codings, probable, suspected and rule out are suspicious conditions. So we can't code in the outpatient coding. But in patient coding, we can code probable, suspected and rule out conditions. So for coding surgical procedures, in outpatient, we can use CPT and HICPIX level 2. As you know, in inpatient, we have ICD-10 PCS. In outpatient coding, reimbursement primarily based on physician fee, insurance contracted rates, ambulatory surgery center rates. So based on the procedure performed in outpatient coding, you will get the money. Whereas in inpatient, primarily based on diagnosis related group, which is usually we call it as DRGs. This DRG assigned to the principal diagnosis based on which inpatient coding facilities will get the money. In outpatient coding, for the patient, no need to stay in the hospital. In inpatient coding, hospital stay will need it. To consider as an inpatient, minimum two days is required. So in outpatient, code assignment is based on the encounter or visit. So for example, patient come in the morning and he will go in the evening. Otherwise, patient come at 10 o'clock and he will leave at 11 o'clock. So, Duration is a night criteria in outpatient coding. Minimum 24 hours is needed for outpatient coding. So in inpatient, code assignment is based on the entire admission length of stay. So in outpatient, we will use CMS 1500 form and inpatient, we will use UB04 form. We can check those forms now. So uh, this is the CMS 1500 form. As a coder, we no need to code anything on this form. Basically, we need to use, we need to have the boxes. What are the use of these boxes? See here, in CMS 15 form, we will code our procedures here in our patient, here modifier, here other diagnosis. So just we need to have one idea about the charts. Whereas, in patient, this is UB4 form. So just we need to have idea about this. We don't need to do anything here. 
So you need to check all these forms in CMS website. You can have a free access. Thanks for watching my channel guys. Please help your friend to subscribe to my channel as I am going to keep all interview questions and answer at one place and I am also planning to do mention or publish latest updates in the medical coding field. Happy coding guys.